realize I could have filmed the whole video like this, not crooked, but through the window because I have my window open right now. And this is really nice lighting. Oh, the things we realize after we film. <laughs> So I hope this video came out okay. Oh. Hey, beautifuls. So today I'm giving you guys finally my makeup tutorial for the Sunset Eyes makeup that I've been wanting to do for a while now. And I've gotten a lot of inspiration from my Urban Decay Electric Palette and from Instagram because I saw Kat Von D reposted this picture from this girl. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this tutorial because it's driving me insane. And I just love the colors, yellow and the orange, the pinks all just kind of go together. So I just really love this makeup a lot again this makeup's not to be taken seriously it's kind of just for fun um i would honestly would not wear this on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> but uh, i just wanted to create something fun and cool and i really love sunsets in general i have a attachment to sunsets if you guys have seen my instagram when i see a really nice one i just they say that sunsets are the way of god kind of just making something beautiful like after you have a hard day and you see that it's kind of like it's okay it's like for me it's kind of like a sign that everything's going to be okay so I really enjoy sunsets and they're like something that's very precious to me so when I see a good one or really beautiful one I'm like wow everything's okay life is beautiful like it's gonna be fine you know especially with my anxiety and stuff so that's my whole little spiel and same with fortune cookies I'm very like weird with that too, but that's a whole nother video. So if you guys want to see how to get this fantasy sunset makeup, then just keep watching the video. Love you guys. Bye. So to start off my face, I'm going to first put on my primer. I love my baby skin, as you know, so I'm just going to put that on. And it's really kind of humid right now too, so I'm melting already. And I just rub it around and I really try to work it into my nose. And right here especially because that's where my I have my big giant pores. And next I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. Mine is in 110. Again, I'll have all the products listed below. I really have been loving this foundation lately. It has been amazing. It's really nice coverage. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage foundation. So I don't think it's like... Um... BB cream consistency. I think it's actually really really nice and I do put a lot on because I do tend to buff it in but today I'm actually going to try out um, using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush because I haven't used that in a while. As you guys can see my this is my usual foundation brush. It is the e.l.f. blending brush. It is so caked. I need to wash it. I haven't used this brush in a while so I want to get back to using it. I'm going to take a mirror and do this. Ooh. My under eyes, you guys, are so bagged out because I am so stressed out right now. It's not even funny. Oh, it's actually red under there now, too. Not only is it purple and blue under my eyes, now we got some red tones. And you know what the funny thing is? I have no idea what happened to my NYX correcting concealer. I know I dropped it when I was filming, but I can't find it, so that poses a big problem because I was using that, and now I don't have anything. I'm thinking about trying red lipstick, though. Let me know what you guys think. What Do you do? You guys have any, like, suggestions of, like, color-correcting concealers that I should try? Because my bags are so bad now that I... And I'm really upset <laughs> with them and I just I don't want them anymore so now that that's buffed in you guys can see I have a few little spots so what I like to do is instead of using my hard candy concealer which I really have not used in such a long time I just take a little more of my covergirl foundation and tap it on to the areas that need a little bit more coverage and then I just kind of tap it in sure that I get sort of a flawless finish during the week because on the weekends, um, I also do this with my Born This Way foundation too from Too Faced. But uh, my Cap on D that I've been using, ooh girl. For powder, I am going to be using my Maybelline Master Fix, the new loose translucent powder that they just came out with. 
I finally have been starting to use it this week and I have to say so far I am very um, happy with this so maybe in a favorites but I'm also currently using um, I just bought the Allura Mercier translucent powder because I heard obviously really good things about it and everyone and their mother has talked about it so um, I did pick it up I got the big size because they didn't have the little one at uh, the Holyoke mall and I was like really but they seriously had like the biggest Sephora I've ever been to yet holy crap I went in there and I was like <gasps> and Dave was just like poison you're buying poison men like what Nicole Guerrero says if your man doesn't like the fact that you wear makeup then you know heck with him all right he can go because if it makes you happy that's all that matters looks like little stars on there now you guys can see that I know look at it looks like little stars that's so pretty I want to take a picture of that <laughs> oh so pretty it looks like someone just did like starry night or something i bet that's how they make galaxy print stuff they just throw crap on and then it just becomes taking an eye primer i'm just gonna apply this to my lids this is the lorac behind the scenes eye primer i've been using this since christmas time when i got the palette and my lorac palette and i do like it a lot it really does hold my shadows on for a long time so it is a good eye primer but i find that it's basically like the same exact thing as the urban decay primer potion so um i don't know how much difference in price they are of which one's cheaper and which one's uh more expensive so if i find that i'll link it i'll just put like an insert here but uh whichever one is cheaper I just recommend you go get it because they're basically the same exact product just found this makeup so beautiful and I really wanted to do the sunset tutorial so I'm doing it <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be doing it to that magnitude I think I'm going to do it a little bit different you know make it more first me. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a base for my um eyeshadow I'm going to use this shimmery white color from my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette and the reason I'm using this palette is because um, it has the yellow color that I need and I'm very happy that I have a yellow shadow. I, I'm very happy. Top off the excess and I'm just going, going to work this all over my lid. It actually kind of has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it so that will really help me out here. My other lid. I'm going to be taking the yellow color that is right next to it and I am going to be putting that if I can get it up with my brush here I am just going to be applying this to my inner corner and out onto my lid sorry if this lighting keeps like going white I was you guys can see what I'm doing now and it's not a bright sunny day so I kind of feel like this lighting is crappy I'm so sorry I'm so hot right now you guys I wish we could put the air conditioner on next I'm actually going to be taking this other sort of mustardy golden yellow color and I'm just gonna place that um, on top a little bit so that this yellow doesn't look so bright all over the lid because I do want it to kind of contrast into the orange and the pink shadows I'm going to use so I'm just gonna kind of place this on the end of my lid over here where the color ends taking a elf blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this into my crease a little just kind of lightly because I don't want to really blend those yellow colors together that now much. going into my urban decay electric palette I'm going to take the color slow burn right here and I'm gonna put it on sort of where we put that darker yellow color just to darken it up a little bit more I'm not really intending on putting a ton of um, this color on so I'm just lightly tapping it and into my crease just a little bit sort of kind of like a moon shape crescent shape because we are adding that pink on the end and sort of kind of blending it when you're applying it too pretty <laughs> this is my uh, second time trying to do this tutorial the first time I wasn't really proud of it so I'm really hoping this time that um, it comes out okay so now that the yeah the yellow we did this is, hi, this is yellow. No, now that the orange is applied, I'm going to take Savage from this palette as well. And 
I'm gonna just tap this on the end sort of blending it into the orange as well and taking it up into the crease I'm tapping off trying to tap off as much as possible because I don't want it to be really you can make this a really heavy eye look but with the colors but personally I just want it to look nice right here to make that stand up let's see the other side I feel like this side looks better than the other side and I'm gonna take slow burn again and just tap it there my best advice for doing like any smoked out looks or any looks like this just patience this is a virtue and I've had to learn that because I used to just put the colors on and blend it and then it would all become one color and I was getting upset and wondering why that was happening so um take your time when you're doing eye looks because oh my gosh I really like this I don't want to blend it anymore but I feel like I need to lightly take my um uh, base shadow brush from Real Techniques and I'm just gonna lightly go over the colors and the crease just like slightly like, I am using the lightest hand possible right now. Because I don't want it all to, like, un come undone. My mom is vacuuming, if you guys can hear that. <laughs> now I'm going to take my dark brown eyeliner from NYC. This is the one I use on a daily basis anyways, because it's not as harsh as black. And it looks, kind of softens your eyes, too, because this is a sunset look. I was going to wear a black one but I felt that would be kind of too harsh at least the brown it's like it's not as intense than the colors already are and I'm not going to be putting on liquid liner but you can if you want to um, I just kind of prefer to keep it like this because I really like how it came out oh my gosh I really like how it came out like I said patience is a virtue I have a really hard time being patient when I do my makeup so um Learn from me, guys. Be patient. And don't leave your curling iron on when you leave the house. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Some mascara. I'm actually going to use my Better Than Sex today. Sometimes I use just my Neutrogena one. Sometimes I use this one. Sometimes I use both. It just depends. But I'm going to use this one. This mascara is like my everything. Like I am definitely going to repurchase this $23. My eyebrows. Um, I have a hard time doing eyeliner or brows on camera and talking at the same time, believe it or not. So I am going to just do this real quick and it'll be like, you guys thought it just happened in an instant. So give me a second. Yes, my brows are two different brows. I'm quite aware of it, but they go with my face. So what can I say? I know you guys are probably like, why are you putting on brow gel when you just put pomade on? Because I, this helps to hide any other, um, like sparseness in my brows, I feel like. Well, sometimes I always have sparseness anyways, but it, I feel like it's okay if I do because it looks a little more natural than if I just have like a drawn on brow, like you guys can see from far away, but up close you can see there's a little bit of sparseness, which I'm okay with. I am just going to apply my under eye concealer. I'm starting to um, kind of get sick of this concealer only because, like I said, I have really bad bags right now. And it's just not the business. Taking my beauty blender, yes, I have a real one now. And I just wet the top of it because I like to use it um, just for my under eye concealer. I haven't really found a way. Um, I did use it with my Kat Von D foundation the day after I bought it when I went to mass with David. And I did like the effect it gave, but I don't know. I don't think I'm in beauty blender season yet because I tried using the beauty blender with my cover with this foundation. And uh, it just, I didn't like the way it looked because it looked kind of sheer. But um, I do love using this. However, I will say I feel like the, my, the sponge that I already have work just as well to apply my BB cream and stuff. And I feel like they're a lot faster for me to apply. So I think I might do a video about that and like do like a speed test or something 
of how long it actually takes me to put on my foundation with this beauty blender and with my Target brand ones because I feel like the Target ones are a lot faster. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, you guys can still see bags. What are you gonna do? I usually am using my Mr. Right brush to for baking underneath my eyes, but I'm gonna bake today because I haven't done that in a while and I miss it. All the powders are like falling off there. Now I'm going to bronze my face with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I actually do like this a lot, especially for um, the upcoming summer and all that kind of stuff because it smells so good, like coconutty, tanning oil goodness. And I'm just going to contour with it and bring it up as kind of like a light contour. I don't really um, use this for intense contouring because it is a really really light bronzer but it does give me a nice glow to my face so I really appreciate that thank you physicians formula and I have to say this product is expensive but it looks really nice like look at that that looks nice but I'm gonna blend it out so it doesn't look so like oh my gosh Sam what are you doing right now okay, I'm just gonna bring that up like that Yes, I do use the mirror that comes in the compact because when I get ready in the morning, it's just a lot easier than me having to pick up the other mirror. But I think everyone knows that these bronzers are amazing because um, I went back to the same Walmart where I bought this from and there was like none left. <laughs> there was one. There was one left and there was four when I bought mine. So these things are flying off the shelves. Let me just blend this quickly a little bit so it doesn't look as crazy. I'm just going to highlight with my Hard Candy Highlighter. This is in Tiki, right? Yeah. And I've been using my fan brush again. I don't know why. I've just been like, oh, fan brush, I missed you. I want you. I love you. So there's that glow. Yes. I've been really loving this a lot. I don't know. Maybe because it reminds me of summer. This was the one that I always used in the summer and I was like completely in love with it. So I just like highlight the crap out of my face as you guys can see. <laughs> because I think it's one of my favorite parts of makeup honestly. Since the whole highlight trend happened I was like oh I want to glow. on my nose and on my cupid's bow and also underneath which I already knew about and Khloe Kardashian was like oh put it under here it makes your lips look bigger I already knew that for years girl but okay thanks for jumping on the bandwagon <laughs> live for that glow and this was only six bucks at Walmart so it's really cheap if you want a really nice highlighter it is like everything it's amazing I've been staying away from like my expensive ones because I don't want to I don't want to run them out and I know there's other good highlighters out there, so just gonna just do that a little bit so it doesn't look so weird. So now I'm gonna take the Maybelline lipstick and coral cocktail and apply it. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of nude lust by Maybelline um, to help mute it out a little bit because it is real, real intense. Just tap it out. And tap it out, and tap it out, and tap it out, and tap it out, and tap it out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look around my bottom lip. What's going on today? I don't even know. Finally, we're going to set with some makeup setting spray. This is the Maybelline one that I really don't like, but I'm using it, so. <laughs> still smells like potpourri. No matter how much you shake it, it still stinks. Like, I don't care. Still is bad. I don't like it. 
and this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know below again what videos you guys would want to see because I am a little bit at video block right now and because school has been really crazy and I have a lot of pressure on me right now. So I'm kind of freaking out, but I'm trying to stay positive. Um, I have not done a talk that talk video, so I think that might be coming in the next couple months. I just don't feel like filming it yet because I'm busy and you know what I'm saying. You get it. But uh, yeah, so I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe here if you want to see more videos. I am crazy and we are all weird here and that's just the way I like to keep it for the record. And yeah, so I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.